all right guys thank you for visiting the channel again in this episode we're going to be talking about how our new uh, seeds did on our germination process and we're going to talk a little bit about our fog product system or what's left of it stick around all right guys in our previous videos uh, we talked about uh, seed preservation and basically in reference to that um, I give you some information about stuff to do in reference to keeping your seeds when you're buying them in bulk to keeping them safe and preserved so when you're going to use them again in your next batch you can have a great uh, germination process throughout the time that you have leftover seeds. Um, that video will be linked above in the card section and um, today we're going to be talking about since we did buy new seeds and how they're growing out. As you can see now in this video uh, basically you can see now how nice and green they are. They're growing. I let them mature for their two weeks process. We're going to be transplanting them over to our uh, rail system. And basically, I let them grow out so they can be nice and strong uh, to be put into the rail system. So once we start feeding them with the uh, nutrients, they would uh, have a great success in reference to gathering those nutrients. Now, I was... After once I germinated them and I let them grow out a little bit, I have been putting mixture in. I had some leftover water with nutrients and I've been pouring that in because when they came out, they were a little bit weak. I'm still trying to define on why this is happening with these type of seeds. In reference to, uh, they were growing a little bit weak, so I let them giving them a couple more days after that process then I started giving them uh, nutrients and then diluting it with some water and they grown beautifully as you can see now now not all the seeds that I had in the um, in these cubes did sprout out now I did put a lot of seeds to see if I can get more out of uh, each cube but basically I'm gonna stick to what I did the first time just putting eight seeds in each cube and I think that would be a better process than putting so many seeds inside of one little cube um, and basically just doubling up in our rail system. So, so keep that in mind, guys. Don't overdo it with your seeds in each cube. Just put enough, you know, five or six, seven, eight. Um, basically, don't go over that because then the ones on the top are the ones that are spread out. And you're not going to give the ones at the bottom any chance to be able to grow. So... Um, Basically, this week we're going to be transplanting them over to our rail system. Now, talking about our fog ponic system, I'm not sure if I cut the holes a little bit wider. Um, I'm I'm thinking that the cilantro is not best for the the Dutch bucket system. Um, in reference to growing because they grow in a good amount, and having so many of them close by uh, would ruin the process um they have have one that has been grown but it's just been falling through so what i'm going to do is buy another lid get a smaller hole saw cut the hole a little bit smaller so that the um the neck cup does not go through the uh through the lid and basically having that problem but besides that they've been growing but not as i was expected i was thinking that everything would work out great even though that our fogger uh, completely died out on us and it you know killed our stunned our process for two weeks um, so we had to let the water just raise the water level so the roots can be able to get the um, the nutrients that they needed um, they've been sucking up the water but I'm thinking that you know cilantro is not really good for this um, I did cut off a piece as I have a mint plant and basically in this mint plant what I did is they've been rooting out fairly well so I cut off a stem off of it and I plugged it in there and it's been growing as you can see now that the little mint leaf has been growing and reference and also been growing some roots down into the water so that's a good thumbs up I think that we're gonna use this this just this bucket what I'm gonna do is get another container to use as a fog ponic system and just use this bucket as a cloner now we're gonna be talking about why you should clone and what plants you should be cloning um, because in that reference you can speed up your process but we'll have a later video on that and this is just a quick little update to let you guys know what we've been doing I know I haven't posted a video as I mentioned before because of the delay of the process been really busy with my photography work but um, basically guys if you have any questions and concerns make sure that you leave them down in the comments section um, I have a couple comments from you guys thank you very much for your comment and your support um, thank you very much and I'll see you guys on the next video